An Amber Alert remains active this morning for the two missing Connolly brothers, nine-year-old Duncan and seven-year-old Jack from the central Illinois city of Leroy. Officials claim they may be headed with their father, the alleged abductor, to the Chicagoland area. Residents in the northern Illinois suburbs are pouring into the nearest grocery store to stock up on supplies after showers and thunderstorms have been intensely increasing in the area and in parts of Indiana. A flood warning is in effect and another inch and a half of rain is expected this afternoon. It's no laughing matter that Detroit, Michigan has the highest unemployment rate in the nation. Still to come, we reveal tonight show host Jay Leno's comedy stimulus plan where he hopes to bring free smiles to many of Metro Detroit's unemployed residents. It was anything short of a miracle today for the family of seven-year-old Heather McNamara who was released after undergoing a major abdominal surgery, never before attempted on a child. The 23-hour risky procedure involved the removal of seven vital organs. Martin Brodeur melts the ice, moving within two of Patrick Waugh's NHL career wins record, sparking the Devils' victory over the Flames. This and more in sports, up next. This is Tyler Kern. Yesterday, we spent the morning with him. From brushing his teeth to getting dressed, we were by his side. But this wasn't a typical day for Tyler. I am so excited. It's ridiculous. So why is Tyler so excited, you might ask? Well, after submitting a music video that he made through a contest for Great American Country, Tyler got a call that named him Keith Urban's number one fan. <laughs> Keith Urban. Woo. Before the GAC crew arrived, Tyler showed us his collection of Keith Urban memorabilia, which was comprised of pictures, concert tickets, and magazines. I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting for GAC to get here, you know? Next, it was time for Tyler's big debut. The GAC crew arrived and immediately put a mic on him. The crew traveled a few flights to see Tyler's room. Once they arrived to his room, it was time for the big interview. He explained why he was Keith Urban's biggest fan and showed off his favorite country star's collection. But why Tyler? He's got a lot of, lot of energy, which is perfect for the show, because it's going to be kind of like an MTV-style type show and just really quick cuts and stuff like that. And he was perfect for it, absolutely perfect. Finally, Tyler led the crew to see the campus. They hit the quad to find out a little bit more about Tyler's life, aside from his favorite singer. But this was just the beginning of his big dream day. Reporting for TV10 News, I'm Brittany Parsons. With the economy in turmoil, many Americans are barely making enough to pay their bills from month to month. So, what would you do if your town decided to pass a plan that implemented for some a larger-than-life tax on something you simply just cannot live without? Water. Some residents and local businesses in Bloomington Normal are skeptical about the new plan to whether or not the new decision could really break the bank for them financially. Some people might be throwing in the towel when it comes to the new water hike. Bloomington residents feel with the tax increase last month, they will do just about anything to stretch their dollar. But I'm not happy about having to pay the extra money but I hope they'll do that. I will try to save more money when I do my wash and when I do the dishes, I won't be running the water as much, I can tell you that. Places such as car washes that use large quantities of water will be most affected by this hike. One business says you can stop in for a wash and dry and not be concerned about this increase hitting your pocketbook. I don't think it'll affect it very much. Um, a lot of people like to get their cars washed and uh, we're, we're here to do that. Some customers might even drive to towns over where the tax increase will not take place. But Parkway Auto Laundry offers great discounts Monday through Wednesday to keep prices low. Reporting for TV10 News, I'm Brittany Parsons.